Good morning guys and happy Sunday to all of our sunshiny faces. I we went to the grocery store super early today. We had a bunch of different stops to make. We did go to Walmart. I had to pick up three things. Um I needed like a special kind of toothpaste. We picked up potato chips. Um, even though I actually sort of got them at Jewel also, but um then we also ended up getting um but I think the kind I got are sort of flavored maybe or something like that. But the um we just want regular ones for that um dip that I keep getting for my mom. So I ended up getting that. Um and then we also ended up getting um uh, my mom needed a gift bag for something so we did stop at walmart we grabbed like i said just three things then we also went to menards too we picked up two of those sort of like real popular now those like light bulb sort of things that you put in that have like the multiple like three angled sort of like things and they're super super bright um we use them in the garage now our garage used to be with just like the regular light bulbs and they're so dark and like spooky especially when you go in there at night now it is like lit up like the fourth of july out there it is so bright from those like kind of lights um and then we also have one in the attic which is the same thing too like we had like one attic light and now it's like completely like night and day like you can actually see like it's daytime out there in the um up there in the attic and um so we got one for the crawl space too because we only have one spot in the crawl space for a light bulb um and then we got a second one because we might um add another spot like there's one section of the attic because the light bulb's like sort of right in the middle maybe we might even move it further down or something like that and then put another one over sort of like there's like a cubby door in the attic and there's like we have clothes hanging up there and so but like because of where the light bulb is too, we have like metal shelving. So when there's stuff on there too, it's actually hard to sort of see through to the other side. The light doesn't make it over there. So my dad was saying that he might want to hang up another one. So we got two of those. One was $5.99 after rebate. The other was $2.99 after rebate. Then they also had, I think it was $2.99 after rebate, like a work light. But honestly, we'll probably just use it more. I and mean, we might use it for like work stuff um, when we need to see in general. But like yesterday, I had to use my phone um, when my dad was trying to take apart the bathroom sink because because we don't have like a flashlight. My dad has like work lights for like work um, that are normally in his van, but we don't have one for like home for like a flashlight. That, like we sort of do, but they're like, they don't work really well. So anyways, um, we picked that up. That was $2.99. So then we also went to Jewel. Actually did really good guys. All the stuff that I ended up picking up, I'll share with you guys. Um, and then also we had to pick up a couple things at Aldi. So let me share with you guys all the deals that were going on. There was a lot. Everything worked out perfectly at Jewel. Um, there was one thing that they did not have. They had a pumpkin carving set. Um, like I think it has like the, um, like the book two that you can do for like the um like stencils um and then it had like you know the different carving things and stuff like that and it was supposed to be 99 cents after just for you coupon it looked like my store was completely out they did have like a section of like pumpkin carving stuff it looked like and um they had like an end cap thing and then that looked like it was out um so if it was the same one but i didn't see it in my store anywhere um so i like i said i think that was out and then i did end up throwing in last minute i had the coupon clip then i decided against it then i decided to do it these um zaps like um the different like the pretzel sticks and things like that um originally i was like okay i'm gonna pass on that um and then my dad was like oh those are really good like he gets some i think they have like the smaller bags that like um what's it called subway and so he's like oh the chips are really good because i was like oh the pretzels these a lot of times too like these i don't even really know what they're called like the pub pretzels sort of things or whatever they are um like they have that other brand and normally they're pretty expensive so these were actually on sale and like i said originally i was going to get them then i decided against it then i was like you know what i didn't realize how big the bag size was i thought that that like they were smaller and also too i didn't realize what they retail that for what i ended up getting them for is actually a really good deal but again too we'd already went to walmart and i picked up you see back there <laughs> this bag of potato chips um so then we picked up two things of the pretzels and one thing of the potato chips because you had to buy three to get this sale with the coupon on. anyway so um yeah i ended up doing that which was sort of last minute but i did have the coupon clipped ahead of time because i was planning on sort of doing it that i was like no i'm not then i decided yeah okay i am at <laughs> the last minute so um anyway let me share with you guys what we did end up picking up though from jewel and aldi today so everything on the table guys takes up about half the kitchen table over here um all these items at jewel cost us 49 dollars and 80 
three cents, which is awesome. Um, under 50 bucks, just barely under 50 bucks for all of these things. Um, and we saved $108.70. So we had um, a 90, or I'm sorry, 69% savings. And um, that, you know, we paid about a third of what the total was supposed to be, which is awesome. Normally I'm always aiming for 50%, but a third is even more awesome. So that was, like I said, really good deals that were going on at Jewel. Um, like I said, there were tons. I was telling you guys too, like Meyer had a sale that was pretty similar that ran both this week and last week. So like I spent more at Meyer last week. And then since they kind of had the similar deals that were running this week, I either didn't have as many um, deals or um, like the coupons I already used last week. Um, so I didn't wind up, like I said, having as big of a haul there, but Jewel had a ton, a ton of just for you and advertised deals and coupons and stuff like that, that made all this stuff really good price. So let me start off with um, some of the advertised deals that were going on. They had the smaller, um, I think this is a 2.85 ounces of the Jack's, Le Jack's Link Jerky um, on sale for $2.99 after just for you coupon. So we picked up one of those. They also had the Fisher Peanuts. Those were on sale three for two with the just for you coupon. Again, these ones were all advertised um, and you had to buy two, I think, to get them at that price. The Aunt Millie's um, bread and buns, those were on sale for $1.49, uh, which is a little bit more money than all these price, but honestly, I think the quality is a little bit better. Um, and normally, actually, their bread is, depending on what kind, is right around the same price. Um, like I said, depending on which variety of bread you're getting. But they were $1.49 with a um, limit of three, but you had to buy three to also, again, get them at that sale price. Even if you clipped the coupon but only bought one, you wouldn't get it with, you know, at the 149 you had to buy three of them um, and clip the coupon so we picked up three of those we also ended up picking up the tostinos pizza rolls um, those were 2.99 for a 50 count which is pretty good price as well um, like compared to um, I think Walmart's price for the most part is pretty comparable um, especially for the actual name brand um, they also had to the dove and Twix and Snickers bars they were out of the Snickers ones though like the frozen ice cream bars um, those are $2.49 with a just for you coupon limit of two. I don't know if you have to buy two to get those at that price. Um, they also too had the Saturday sampler which is um, available on Saturday and then it expires I think by Monday so you have like two or three days sort of to use them um, but it was free um, of the signature select homestyle waffles so we picked up one of those that made it completely free with a coupon. They also had the Oreo cookies family size or the Nabisco um, like different crackers the Ritz Triscuits and um, the one, the one other kind, wheat thins. I think um, those were all two ninety nine um, when you bought two. Um, so they, I was actually going to get Ritz crackers. They were out of the Ritz crackers, so I just went ahead and picked up two things, Oreos. I actually think we have a box or two of the Ritz crackers. But again, too, knowing that the holidays they're coming up, I'm like, if I can get deals on them and kind of stock up, I'll go ahead and do that. But again, since they were out of that, and I know that I picked up a thing of wheat thins recently and also Triscuits, I was like, I'll just go ahead and pick up two things, the Oreos, because we love Oreos and so <laughs> went ahead and did that um I might even too honestly put one of the Oreos um hopefully we get a deal maybe sooner though closer to Christmas um we normally wind up doing like uh chocolate covered Oreos with like the Christmas sprinkles it's normally just like a little Christmas dessert sort of thing that we do you know like we're making cookies and stuff like that and I'll be honest normally it's just to use up whatever um like almond bark that I have left over so if we don't have any um if we don't get any any other deals I might like I said maybe try and hang on to one package of those but I don't know if somebody finds them then they're just gonna get eaten so also had to the pineapple is 99 cents with the just for you coupon and also to the um seven up Dr. Pepper were like two liters those were on sale for 99 cents when you buy four with a just for you coupon so um i bought four but i also had a dollar off of three coupon so um those stack because like one is like a price point so like it makes it like it says like you'll get this for 99 cents when you buy x amount or whatever you know um so like when the price point coupon and then there's also a dollars off coupon normally at jewel they always wind up stacking so for me they did i only ended up paying 2.97 
six or whatever it was for those, um, which is about like 75 cents or so each, 74 cents, I think something around there anyway. Um, close to that, um, so they're a little bit cheaper than 99 cents each because I had that dollar off of three coupon. Um, but again, with the 99 cents, you have to buy um, four of them to get them for 99 cents. So zaps uh, the different pretzels and um, potato chips on sale for $1.99 when you buy three. And like I said too, originally I was like, ah, that's not that good of a price. And I was also too, I didn't realize entirely that they were like the pub sort of pretzels. I thought they were like regular pretzels. And I'm like, I'm always getting those cheaper anyway. I thought they were just like flavored pretzels though. Sort of like the, what is that? The Snyder's of Hanover or whatever it was. I was sort of thinking it was similar to those ones. And I was like, I don't know, maybe it'll be a good deal. But when I saw it was these, like I said, that's when I was like, oh wait, no, those, <laughs> that's actually a really good price for those. So $1.99, like I said, with the just for you coupon when you bought three. Um, and then also two, the apples, they had, um, I think they're the juicy brand apples. Um, they're 48 cents with the just for you coupon and they're a limited 10 pounds. I picked up a little under two pounds. So I paid only 94 cents for those. Um, so those were all of the, I believe, advertised just for you coupons. They had a couple of other sales that were going on as well, like the pub burgers. Um, those were only 99 cents. So I paid $3.96 for this package and the same for the package underneath. So I paid under uh, eight bucks in total for four of the, or eight of the pub burgers, um, which we're gonna grill a package I already had in the freezer. Today, I'm gonna freeze these ones and get that stuff sort of rotated out of the freezer, but that's a really good price. And Jules Pub Burgers are like the uh, quarter pounder, or no, I'm sorry, like a half pound because they're two pounds for four. So they're like a half pound, which is really a pretty decent price. Like they're like the eight ounces. So for 99 cents, those are actually a really good deal. Um, so again, we picked up those. They also had the farm rich, um, uh, meatballs. They are normal price $8.99, but they're on sale buy one, get one free, which makes them four fifty, which is the, I think 26 ounce bag, which again, when I was comparing like to Walmart's price to see like, is that a good price? Is it cheaper? This was actually fairly like significantly sort of cheaper um, for like meatballs, like frozen meatballs from Walmart. So I was like, that's a good price. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Um, I think next week, maybe I'll do meatball sandwiches or maybe meatballs and, you know, like spaghetti or something like that. Um, again, depends. But uh, like I said, this was actually a really good deal for these. Then um, they also had both blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries all on sale. Um, I think the raspberries and the um, blackberries were the six ounces, I think. The uh, blueberries were the one pint, but um, they were uh, five for three dollars. You don't have to buy three, but I just went ahead and picked up three of the blackberries because raspberries were actually cheaper at Meyer. They were one forty nine. These work out to be one sixty six each, um, or one sixty seven. So I went ahead and picked up those over at Jewel, um, or these at Jewel, and then the other, like I said, the raspberries at Meyer. Um, so I think that was all of the like sale items. Then I had a couple of like. Um, just for you coupons that are not necessarily advertised. Again, some people might still get these. Sometimes these are specific just to certain accounts, depending on shopping habits and stuff like that. But these buy antioxidant drinks, um, my favorite kind is pomegranate. It's on sale for $2 and there's a 50 cent off um, just for you coupon that I used. So I paid $1.50 for that, which isn't the best price, but honestly, normally I don't get deals on these like really under um, like probably $1.25. So I actually thought that was a pretty decent deal. Um, they also had a dollar off of any Kemp's um, product and the cottage cheese was actually on sale for $2.50 for like the 16 ounce package. So I went ahead and used the dollar off coupon on that and only paid um, $1.50 for it, which was pretty good. My mom eats cottage cheese, so that was a pretty decent deal for actual also name brand. Um, and then also to this like accelerator um like energy drink or something like that. They're on sale five for three or 167 each, but um, you can just buy one. And uh, I used the dollar, there was a $1 off one coupon. So that made that just 67 cents. Awesome price for that. Um, so I think that that was everything from Jewel. Um, like I said, including all the advertised coupons, all of the um, sales, all of the, like I said, on other coupons that I used that weren't um, advertised. On top of that though too, I also did have an $11 off reward that I had earned 
Um, so I use that in addition to all of this. So this would have been like about 60 bucks had I not had that $11. But, um, you know, every time you spend a certain amount of money on certain products, sometimes at Jewels, they give you um, like rewards, um, like, you know, like points or something like that. And then those points you can redeem for um, rewards. So I had earned you know technically enough points that I was able to then redeem an $11 off um, reward which was awesome I actually think that that's probably one of the highest ones that I've like earned um, but they'll sometimes have bonus points as well um, like and also to like bonus point coupons that you can like um, redeem as well um, so sometimes it'll be like oh if you spend over $20 in the meat department or produce department or something like that you get like bonus or quadruple points sometimes and things like that so it's going to add up really quickly lots of stores have those type of programs Meyer has that as well with their like you know every $150 I spend I get $3 off um and the same thing too with like um uh, Valley Produce and Caputo's too, like a certain threshold that I spend every single time I go there, make sure that I scan my little, um, you know, uh, what's it called? A <laughs> little, um, like, you know, card on my phone. Every time I scan that little code, you know, at the checkout, um, you know, it tracks that as well, like how much money I, sp I spent. And then, you know, um, again earns up to that you know those uh, dollars off my future purchase um so again lots of stores have those whenever you can take advantage of it it's awesome that's why like sometimes too if i'm like oh well this is sort of the same price at like jewel compared to walmart's price sometimes i'll still pick it up at jewel just because i know that i can earn those like points in addition to that and i don't like walmart doesn't have that kind of program so um like i said if i know that like oh this is like right at that price or like right at all these price sometimes i will still go with the other grocery store just because I know that they have those type of like incentive programs to sure to get you to shop at the store. So whenever at all you can take advantage of those kind of things, do because again, it does wind up paying off. It seems sometimes like it doesn't, but again, I don't spend very much at Jewel anyway, and yet I was able to redeem, you know, or earn up to $11 off just one, you know, purchase. And again, with a big haul like this, that was normally been 60 bucks and I only spent 50 again, plus all of my other savings and stuff like that really added up. So um, that was everything at Jewel. Let me share with you guys Aldi. So right here at Aldi, we paid $20.12, which included 15 cents in tax. We were slightly under that um, without tax, but um, we did have to pick up a couple things. My mom asked for two things for her grocery, um, like from the groceries for like cooking this week. Um, and uh, she asked for chicken gravy. I think I still have a can in the pantry. Um, however, I couldn't find any at Aldi and I think it might be seasonal. And since they don't have their Thanksgiving stuff really out yet, um, they probably will next week since Halloween will be over. But since they don't, I couldn't find it there. And I wasn't sure if it was seasonal or if they had it year round. Um, again, handful of things they sometimes do there. So that was something I probably should have actually picked up at Walmart today, but my dad might have to run out if I don't have a can in or a jar in the pantry. Um, but she asked for that. She also asked for the uh, biscuits, which those were $1.45. Um, they also had green seedless grapes on sale as part of the produce picks for $0.99 cents a pound. We got just a little over two pounds at $2.14. And then bananas were 59 or $0.58 cents per pound. Um, that's like regular price, but we got a little under two and a half pounds. We paid $1.41 for that. Um, also to the hash browns, which I actually think went up. Maybe they did go up in price. I thought they were normally like three ninety nine, um, but they're four ninety nine. That normally lasts me two weeks. There's twenty in there. I normally have two a day, so it normally lasts me about ten days. And I only normally eat them during the week, so um, there's a lot of times I'll have for breakfast. So um, although it's a little more expensive. Um, you know, like I said, I normally only go through those um, about every other week. Um, every once in a while, I'll do like bagels or avocado toast or something like that. But I'm not a real creative breakfast person and I don't really like breakfast food. So as long as I eat something in the morning, it's pretty good. Um, and then also too, we got the uh, deli cheese pizzas. I was telling you guys about these yesterday um, or maybe the day before or something like that. The um, deli pizzas, the cheese pizzas were on sale for $4.99. Now some of the other meat pizzas, those were on sale for like $5.99 I think or something like that or maybe $6.49 um, up to that price something around there um, but the cheese pizzas are the cheapest now whenever I go to Meyer, a lot of times they will have their pepperonis as part of a lot of their like dollar sales or um, like buy 10 and you get the 11th item for free so they're like 91 cents and sometimes they're the big like almost like half pound package or one pound package and stuff like that 
they're pretty decent sized ones um so whenever i see something like that where they're going to charge me more money to get the meat i just add my own meat because we have like again package of those in the pantry so i can just add those and save and you know a dollar and i'm not even going to use the whole package of pepperonis from you know meyer on top of that so it's not even really costing me the extra dollar that it would if i would have just bought like a meat pizza from aldi with their meat on it and honestly too i can add extra if i want to we also might wind up doing like um bell peppers because i have bell peppers we can add that like extra you know garlic whatever we want to do sort of to them um but again since these were decently cheap um you know and again on sale because of um halloween again i went ahead and picked these up at you know and again two of the um just the cheese kind and we can sort of top them how we want to um so like i said that's what i ended up going with and that's what we're going to do tomorrow for halloween um which is kind of crazy because only four of us for halloween and i ended up with the two <laughs> extra large deli pizzas it's like a half pizza for every person but nice thing is that we always have leftovers and then people take them for lunch as well so um that's sort of the bonus part to that as well you know getting you know buying sometimes extra or making extra for dinner and being able to have leftovers for people for lunch um you know for work school and that kind of thing so again guys like i was saying i was really happy that jewel again had all those different sales and things like that that were going on for um you know sort of halloween and like i was telling you guys too a lot of times it's like appetizers, snack foods, pizza, that's, you know, pop. Those are the kind of things that we see on sale, as you guys kind of saw reflected by what I ended up picking up for Halloween. Again, sometimes it's grilling stuff as well, which they did have on sale, um, both again, the hamburgers and hamburger hot dog buns and stuff like that. Um, they also too had, I think the Nathan's hot dogs or something like that, one of the more expensive brands of hot dogs. They were $3.99, I think, um, with a just for you coupon was one of the other ones, like advertised deals that I didn't wind up doing though, but, um, it's actually a pretty decent price. I think it was either that or sort of like for the football, um, you know, for, you know, because it's Saturday, a Sunday weekend, football weekend, sort of in the fall as well. So that was also advertised as well, but I think like I was saying, it's sort of because of the um, either football or sort of like Halloween sort of things like that. Normally it's just sort of like convenience food that we see on sale and like I said, snack foods and stuff like that. So that's sort of what I saw at Meijer like two weeks ago. And again, they were running pretty much the very similar deals to again this week as well. Um, so that's why I was saying like, you know, again, the pretzels and and um, the pizza rolls and you know again the ice cream bars and the pop you know um, those kind of things even to like the meatballs and stuff like that um, the the jerky the uh, peanuts that kind of stuff is sort of more like snack entertaining food and things like that which is most of the time what we wind up seeing during um like you know halloween sales um and also to like the crackers and um you know oreos that kind of thing too um those are kind of the stuff that we wind up seeing during those sales but the really nice thing is like i was saying you know we might not wind up using all of the peanuts that we got but we can then again to set peanuts out for like you know, Thanksgiving for Christmas, that kind of thing also. So that's why guys, I'm always, I'm always buying ahead too, to think about like, okay, that seems like we have to buy again, three bags of these, you know, pretzels, potato chips sort of things. That seems like a lot, but we might not go through those very quickly. But again, I can think ahead and be like, okay, we can buy those for again, like, thanksgiving or whatever and we can bring you know them for thanksgiving for like appetizers i'm not entirely sure though what we're doing for thanksgiving if we're going over to somebody's house or what so far is going on but um anyways though um you know like i said like that kind of stuff i'm, I'm kind of thinking ahead normally too like when we put up our christmas tree um like we we'll normally put it up the weekend after thanksgiving um and do our christmas decorations and stuff like that do like special snack foods and things like that too on that day um so a lot of times again too like I said, I'm always sort of thinking ahead as far as sales and stuff like that goes. Um, so again, while sometimes it looks like we buy a lot of stuff, normally we wind up keeping it in the pantry until we wind up using it. Because again, I might not see a sale on stuff like that again for a while. It might be a couple months actually before I see, like I said, a sale or at that price especially too. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm going to get all this stuff put away now. Um, I thought I'd just share with you guys my hauls from the stores today. Um, like I said, I thought 
everything was pretty good and I'm happy too guys we're home before the football game starts today which is awesome um, we got up super early to go and again I'm, I can probably get all the stuff put away even before the game starts so um, I'm gonna go work on that and then I get to go and watch the Bears game we got to actually catch the end of the London game too I think I'm gonna also end the vlog here but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys